Hey guys, this is Not Lambers of Invoked 101. Welcome back. Today I have my boy James once again talking about his Blackwing Dogmatica deck. This got him 14th at the Invitational Qualifier Extravaganza. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about the uh, deck? Uh, yes, this is uh, Blackwing Dogmatica. Uh, I mainly focused it because I didn't really like any of the uh, what people considered tier 1 decks like Dragon Link, Prank Kids, uh, Virtual World, or uh, any of those other variants, uh, I wanted to make a deck that uh, that was m my personality into it where I can make it competitive. And so far, uh, my matches were great. I got all the way up to table two in the final uh, final round. Uh, I lost to Earth Machine. <laughs> Imagine that. And then uh, it was nothing but road decks at table two. But other than that, I had a great experience playing this deck and I uh, did blowouts for every win I did. All two O's. Yeah, you want to jump right into it then? Oh yes. Uh, so first off for the Blackwing engine, we got three Samoons. Uh, Samoon is your starter card for this deck. Basically, uh, you banish a Blackwing for cost and you get the normal and play a uh, Black Worldwind from deck to field and then you get the normal summon itself without wasting a normal summon. So it's a great starter to get you searching the cards you need in your hand to get you new plays. Uh, next up, we got two Board of the Spears. These are great extenders as you, if you control the face of a Blackwing monster, you get a free summon off of them. And then we got Chris the Krakadon, same reason for Bora, level 4. They got pretty good stats for themselves. And then Uster is another one of our stars that we search off Black Worldwind with some Moon. This basically eases, eases us to go into our boss monster, Full Armor Master. Then we got Zephyros the Elite, great card for uh, extensions and grind out games. Then we got Gale, another two free extenders for the uh, deck. Greatly, and if your opponent plays Winda, you could just half its attack, enter battle phase, smack it, and then you can proceed to play the game. Then we got Value, the Emblem of Honor. This card won me three games. Uh, with its graveyard effect, I can banish itself and other Blackwing cards to special summon a Blackwing Synchro Monster from the grave that equals to the level that I banished. Uh, great recursion, and also a great target for Hulky Fibrax from the deck. Then we got another extender, which is uh, Oroshi the Squall. Basically, if you ever use this card to go into Singer Material, this has one meet one game by putting opponent's monsters in defense mode. It's a really great extension play right there. And then we got Haramata the Dust. Now this card is very easy. I wish I could play more than one of, but it, the deck is tight enough as it is at 42. So Harmada, what it does, if you control a face of Blackwing monster, you can special summon itself, and then if this card is normal or special summon, I can use its effect to target another face-up black wing monster on the field and increase its level. Usually uh, this is an easy way to go into your full armor master if you only have Harmada and you can search this card or you already drew it into your hand. It's an easy way to go into on your third summon to full armor master. Then of course we play two whirlwinds. I don't want to play more than three because that will clunk up the hand. Uh, since the moon already uh, activates it from the uh, deck to the field, it's just what you need. And then for the Dogmatica package, I play two Ecclesia. Three is kind of bricky. I don't want to see multiples in hand or I don't want to see her at all unless I have Nadir Servant. And then we got one Florida Lease. This is a great disruption card on your opponent's turn because during the main phase, if you have full armor master out, you can special summon this. And if you have a Ecclesia or a Maximus or any other Dogmatica monster on the board, you can do a one for free non-targeting negate to your opponent's monster. Then Maximus. Maximus, I truly love Maximus. I know players say it's it's bad to go into blind with Maximus, but I think it's really great because if you can blind sign your opponent with Maximus, because extra decks in top decks right now are pretty tight, so we could just waste some of their uh, materials from the extra deck, and then we can go into our uh, Shadal uh, Schism play from Apocalypse Sending, or and then Titan Cloud along with it because that's just an amazing play. And then we play three Nadir Servants. This is a starting card, and I have seen this card in almost every game after making Full Armor Master. It's a great extension and setting up for disruptions to protect Full Armor Master from your opponent's attacks. Then we have two Punishments. I play two Punishments because I also play another trap card in the deck that we'll get to you shortly. Uh, but it's easy searchable off of Ecclesia, but also another great disruption on your opponent's turn to help you win the game. 
Then we have a schism. We searched this off of Pokemon after using Maximus or Nadir Servant to get the easy schism to go into Winda to stop our opponent from playing the game because we want to win at tournaments. Then I play Scythe. Now with Scythe and Sanctum, along with three trap tricks, basically this these, this uh, this card route these card routes that I use has won me a total of three games. Uh, it stopped my Shadal Invoke player, it stopped my Dragon Link player, and then it stopped my Prank Kids player from playing the game. Uh, it was amazing. This card came in clutch, especially with Trap Tricks searching it. Then we go on to our Red Eyes Dragoon package, which uh, for Rogue decks, I hate to admit it, but Dragoon is needed to push out for the win, as uh, it's a great card in general, but it does give you three bricky cards to draw into. Uh, during this entire tournament, I didn't draw into, I only drew into Red Eyes, uh, Black Dragon. I didn't see either of the two cards throughout the tournament. Then we play what the one card that isn't in a package at all, which is the Monster Reborn, which is a great recursion card, uh, especially if you're going into that grind game and you draw it off the top of your deck. It's amazing. And then we got the Hand Trap lineup. I played two Lancias. Now, I didn't play three because I'm playing the Scythe, and since this coincides with uh, Sanctum, it's pretty amazing. And then we played the three Ash. Uh, I only did saw my Ash throughout the entire tournament when I went up against my Prank Hits player, and I stopped his opening play, and he could not uh, continue forward. So it was amazing to see that card during that matchup. Uh, then for the side deck... Here, we play 15 total. We play one Imperial Order uh, for those spell-heavy matchups. Uh, one Red Reboot for the Eldritch. I didn't see any Eldritch players, but uh, I did draw into Red Reboot because I was playing against a Tri-Brigade Zoo variant, which was playing heavily traps, and it came up for me to win the game. And then we have played one Harpy's Feather Duster. Didn't really see this card at all during the tournament. Didn't really side it in. Uh, didn't think I need to. And then we play uh, three Forbidden Droplets. Uh, this card came in clutch when my opponent dragooned me with Dragon Link. Amazing. Uh, and then I uh, took it with a full Armor Master since it negated its effect so I could target it. And then we play three Tactics. Tactics is insane for this format. Non-targeting, taking your opponent's card, a Pot of Greed, and then a Hand Rip from, the, from your opponent's hand. It's pretty, pretty darn amazing how this card can only be activated. Uh, by forcing your opponent to interact with you on your turn. And then we play three draw. Uh, the only time I had a side in draw was when I was playing against my last match of the day at table two against Earth Machine. Uh, unfortunately, uh, draw just was not enough to stop the searching as he was able to pull out all his uh, power cards and just beat over me. And then we play three Nibiru for the spam summon. I sided in Nibiru almost every game because my opponents always exceeded six summons and so I thought it was coming handy to just disrupt my opponent's board with Nibiru. And then we'll go into the extra deck, and I my extra deck is very tight. I play two full armor masters. Uh, one is not good enough because it can get kaijued or it can get beat over by Boral Sword. Uh, so I play two, especially uh, just to get, the, get it going because it's easy to go into two. Uh, I play one Omega for the uh, Dogmatica packages to recycle some of the cards I sent off of Punishment or Nadir. And then we play one Hawk Joe. Hawk Joe is basically just a third full armor master because if my full armor master died on my opponent's turn and I'm still in the game, I can easily go into Joe to special summon a Wing B Synchro Monster from my graveyard, which it will be full armor master. And then we play uh, Assault Blackwing Shidori the Rain Sprinkling. Uh, this card is my Beater card. Uh, this card gains 300 attack per Blackwing monster in the grave, and so it's easy to get them over 4,000 easy, especially if you just have uh, two Blackwing monsters, you got this card at 4,200. It's an easy out against your opponent's Dragoon or any other power that is over 3,000 attack. And then we got uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon for the, uh, for the Dragoon package. Then we played Titan Clad. Uh, one Titan Clad, I wish I could play two, but again, my extra deck is still pretty tight right now. And so we got uh, Pokalone off of the, for the uh, our Shadal package with the Dogmatica Schism. And one Winda to just summon out off of the Schism. And it also keeps our opponents guessing and think if we play more Shadal monsters, if they get rid of the uh, Schism or the Winda first. 
I played one to test. I wanted to play two, but uh, extra deck is still pretty tight. But I played Omega so that way I could recycle it and keep going. And then I play one for Tan to kind of get the Dragoon out easier. And then we have the Link Climb package, which is Link Rebo, Hockey Fibrax, Unicorn into access code for the beater and destroying the field. And uh, that's my deck. Uh, I went into uh, my link climb several times throughout this tournament just to pull in through the win. And uh, Full Armor Master carried me through the game because uh, my opponents could not get a monster above 3,000. And it was, just, it was just an overall great tournament, great uh, players, uh, had no issues. And um, I had a really grand time. Anything else you want to say before we close this out? Uh, let me tell you what my matches were. Uh, yeah. My matches uh, for match one was Black Wings versus Shadal Invoked. I 2 owed the opponent. Uh, Scythe came in clutch because once my opponent, uh, we were into turn one, he activated Alistair. I Ash, uh, well, no, I didn't Ash. He got out his full combo and everything. And so from then on, uh, I just went into, he didn't know what Black Wings did, so I was telling him as I was going all with Black Worldwind, he allowed full Armor Master to come out onto the board. And then once I had full Armor Master out, I already uh, banished Al uh, my Uster card to put Wedge Counters on my opponent's board. And so his Mechaba, which was the only card he summoned, so because I'm guaranteeing he probably bricked or something like that. After I took his Mechaba, because full Armor Master is unaffected by card effects, Mechaba couldn't not negate it. And then I played my Dogmatica Ecclesia to get Florida Lease and to attack for game. Uh, we were at table 25 then, but match two was at was Black Wings versus Dragon Link. I too owed them. Uh, my opponent bricked. He didn't summon really much of anything on turn one other than uh, Savage. Uh, I played a card. I, he negated it with Savage. I then proceed to OTK them with the full Armor Master combo. Uh, then uh, turn two, I artifact sc scythe them, and then I proceed to OTK them with the Dogmatica package. Then uh, my first loss of the tournament was uh, match three, Blackwing versus True, uh, Zoo Tri Brigade. Uh, it went to game three. Uh, he won at two uh, at, uh, in time due to access code beatdown through his Tri Brigade deck. Uh, then match four was another Zoo Tri Brigade deck. I two owed them because I was more ready. On how it's, how their deck worked because it was my first time uh, facing against it. Then match five, I went up against Prank Kids and I two owed them because Ash came in clutch uh, against both games because I ashed his uh, normal summon and then he linked into Meow Meow and I ashed the card that he's linked and he didn't have any follow up plays. And then the last match of the night was against Earth Machine that went into game three. I lost because I just did not have enough outs to the Earth Machine combo. Other than that, I had a grand experience. I got into the top 16. I won the Alistair Mat in a few packs. And uh, that was my uh, topping an event with Black Wings. Right on, man. Thanks for letting me get the profile, bro. No, man. Problem, man.